Peace, shalom. My name is my brother E. Let's like welcome you back to another daily post of God's ministry. I'm going to start off with a prayer as I always do. In the name of Jesus, Yeshua Mashiach, Father, we ask under the sound of my voice for deliverance for all those who come to be delivered from anything that's troubling them, anything that's going against your kingdom and all the goodness of your kingdom. We ask for your Holy Spirit to touch everyone. And we ask for the Holy Spirit to manifest itself to everyone under the sound of my voice. We pray for breakthroughs in people's lives. In Jesus, Yeshua, Mashiach's name, Father, I pray that you cover people with the blood of Christ, their minds, body, soul, and spirits with the blood of Christ. We pray that you kick out every demon and devil that demonic forces, satanic forces, and forces under the sound of my voice. I command you to catch on fire, burn out of existence. And I command those demons to be tortured in the name of Jesus, Yeshua, Mashiach. Out of people, persons, and places, and things, I command you to the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus, that you're on my ship to torture you, torture you into, your, into the eternal lake of fire forever and ever. In the name of Jesus, that you're on my ship. Oh, Father, I pray for your form of protection around me. I pray that you bind and tie anything in me and all around me that's none of you. And that's around the listeners, the monotype, that's none of you, any spirit, that's none of you, any fallen angels, the, the minor force, uh, spirit of antichrist, demons, sadness, and depression, and stress, and heaviness, we ask that you bind and tie and um, cut it off at the root in the name of Jesus, Church of Mashiach, and send it to the place of hell where it belongs, and we're going to return back to me. All the listeners, Father, we pray f- that you fill us up with your love and surround us with your love that surpasses all understanding, your peace that surpasses all understanding. And I pray that everyone feel with the joyness of who you are, Father, in Jesus, Church of Mashiach's name. I ask that you speak to me. I move out of the way and let you have your will, have your way, Father. Have your way, Father, Abba, in Jesus, Church of Mashiach's name. Peace. Amen. Shalom. Amen. All right. So um, I'm going to get off with a little bit. Of, I had a dream last night uh, with a, um, you know, like, I don't, I don't, I don't like to talk about the word famous because I, you know, the only person who's famous to me is, is Jesus, Yeshua, and God. <laughs> I worked around a lot of famous people um, uh, when I used to do security. Uh, so it's, it's really nothing to me and people who are, whether they, semi-famous, whether YouTube famous or whatever. I, I work with a lot of um, old famous people from the past. And like I said, like, just doing security and, and, and the type of work. So um, when I used to uh, do uh, bouncing and security work uh, at venues. So the famous thing never really gets me. It's just like, they're just people just like us. They're just um, under more pressure, scrutiny, <laughs> you know, and you'd be surprised at how some of these famous people truly live. But I, I had a... Um, I had a dream with a famous YouTuber um, who speaks the prophetic words. And um, it was so funny in my dream. I was dreaming, and I'm like, what are you doing here <laughs> in my dream? I'm like, what are you doing in my dreams? Like, Because I um, also, um, I don't want to say it because I don't want people to contact me for that. But, um, you know, uh, I know I know dreams, you know. Um, but like I said, do not contact me for that because <laughs> I'm... That's not, um, I told Abba, uh, um, a little agreement I made with Abba, uh, my main focus is on um, the most important things and not saving souls and not to be entertaining people. With, um, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but there's a lot of people who just come and just want to know everything about their dreams, every little details. And and, and I feel like if it's you're going to be a dream interpreter um, for the Abba, it should be a, a, a very important matter. Uh, that pertains to yourself and other people that's going to be for the kingdom. And a lot of people um, 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 sideswipe themselves and, and, and get caught up in the awe, the awe-ness of it, you know. When, and, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, so the famous YouTuber was in my dream. It's, it's a, it, was a, um, it was another dude, a, a, a guy, right? So I'm like, you know, I'm looking, I'm like, what you doing in my dream, right? So... Um, the YouTuber the, who spoke the prophet, where he's very, he's very well known for um, for what I can um, remember and seeing him a lot, and he was just depressed. He was down, right? And he couldn't hear me or see me, but I could see him. He was like very, um, his he's grown very dark inside, right? Um, and even though he was doing so much work, um, he did a lot of things and. Um, preaching and teaching and even baptism and, and um but he was just hope he felt hopeless inside even when he started doing his what he's doing now and back in his heart and his spirit he's like it's hopeless it's like what is the sense of me doing this it makes no sense why am i still doing this i mean i'm getting criticized and 
um, um, and, and people, you know, turning their backs on me, uh, look at the world the way it is, and, and the spirit of darkness, what the Abba is telling me, is, has crept into this uh, this man's um, heart, and um, he he's really um, going through it. I, I'm not going to put his name out there because I don't want, um, you know, it's not, that's not how I get down, and I'm not going to contact him. Uh, Abba said that he will come across this page, so... Um, However, Abba does what he does, he does what he does, you know. But I'm not going to um, put his, his um, information, his business out there because I don't want um, I don't want the enemy using that against um, him because the enemy will use that. But um, so I, I was like, in my, and I'm looking at this man, and I'm like, you know how much all the work you have done for the kingdom? Like, like. I'm looking at him like, how can you feel that way? How can you say that? How can you think that way? How can you even allow that that, that spirit of darkness to creep in you? You know, and this is um, the Abba showing me the reason how the spirit of darkness has crept into him um, because of all the scrutiny um, this person was um, um, fighting against and 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 paying attention to um, and answering. Uh, trying to vindicate himself, when the Abba is telling me when um, when when you do come up, uh, um, say what's up, peace first. What's up? I gotta salute you for what you're doing. And when you do come across this message, because you are the Abba saying, um, the first mistake that was that Abba was trying to tell you not to respond, um, because he does the fighting for you. He vindicates you, um, and he he does all the vindication. Um, for how, however he does it. And there was no need for you to respond in that way, in any kind of way to anybody. The first thing you do is you take all things to the Abba, no matter what it is, all things in prayers and supplication to the Abba, even that matter, with a serious matter like that, that has to do against your, against your ministry. So trying to vindicate yourself, you, the Abba said you operated in the flesh. And when you operate in the flesh, you have given away to the enemy to find root, um, um, and through the flesh, through you answering back, um, but the Abba said that he's gonna he's gonna lift you up soon. But it depends on you. It depends on if you want to continue um, the ministry work that you're doing, because it's free will, you know. Um, like I said, Abba, I, I'm gonna pray for him because Abba showed me. Um, I think everybody's useful um, for the kingdom, you know, um, especially if you. You've been going hardcore, and you've just been, you know, day in, day out. Like, I know how it feels, and then, you know, it just sometimes it gets tiring. Like, you know what? I'm tired of all this craziness. I'm, look at the world. You know, sometimes hopelessness and the spirit of darkness gets in. And no matter how good we are with Abba, sometimes things get a little bit um, heavy for us, you know? And um, so I know, I know how it feels. I was just wondering, like, would you, like, in my, in my head, I'm like, what you doing in my dreams? You ain't supposed to be in my dreams. My dreams are on lockdown. Ain't nobody coming up in here. <laughs> like, I got, you know, I lock down my dreams, too. I make sure that, you know, nobody can get in my dreams. I don't care. If I don't have a dream, I don't have a dream. But if you ain't authorized to be in my dream, yeah, I'm not getting in. So I'm like, I'm seeing this this man. I'm like, what you doing? Like, my man, like, what you doing in my dreams? Like, I don't care who you are. You could be Michael Jackson. What you doing in my dreams? <laughs> So, and then when the person didn't answer, I just, um, Abba, well, the angels were showing me, you know, all the things that this man has done and um, all the way to now and what's going on with him. And he was so sad. Um, it, he was so sad that he was losing hope and even he, he's still doing his work, but it's in his spirit, he feels hope, hopelessness. Like he keeps talking and saying to himself, why am I still doing this? Why is this is, is hopeless? Like, you know, all these things coming at me, all these things going on in the world. And I feel like I'm just, um, it's like I'm running, I'm chasing my tail like a dog chases his tail. So, you know, the um, me seeing that, and I felt bad for him. I was like, you know, I get it. I understand how he feels and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna lift him up in prayer too. But um, the Abbas uh, wanted me to say, it is your choice. If you want to continue to the ministry, uh, he gives everybody a free will. But um, the first thing is the first. Um, 
you every uh, every prayer goes to the Abba. Um, every situation, you must pray for every situation, even if people are scrutinizing you, attacking you. You must go straight to the Abba with everything, and wait on Him, and wait on Him. Don't ever allow the enemy to draw you in the flesh to respond, and that's what's been going on. The enemy has um, attacked. Uh, your, your uh, I was saying your prized possession, meaning the ministry and the, the, the good work you've been doing, it was sort of like your prized possession in a way, and the enemy used that against you, um, which the enemy does with a lot of people. Like even myself, like I have to be careful what I idolize because I know the enemy can use that. And Abba also doesn't like, um, you know. Uh, things to be in front uh, um, before him. So even if we're doing the ministry, we have to be, be very careful that we're not analyzing the ministry of it and not placing Abba first because he's the one, the reason why we have the ministry. And also that goes with uh, uh, everything in our life. Abba comes first and everything else falls in order. So anything we put before Abba, he's a jealous God, you know that. And um, um, the enemy, um, he allows the enemy to have access. So you could be able to hopefully change and, and always place him first and let everything fall in place. So even though at a time like this in history, things are very, um, we're going through the tribulations. We are in the end times that they spoke about in the Bible, this real, real, real stuff. It goes into uh, my next topic that I, I, Abba uh, wanted me to speak about. Um, Abba was telling me for two days now. I didn't know how to kind of um, say it. Um, and how to put it. I just wanted to make sure that it was from the Abba. I wanted to make sure that I expressed this right because this is a, a very important topic. Um, this has to do with prophetic speakers and those, and those who um, who speak upon things that's going on and, um, and about to come. Um, the Abba is shutting up the heavens um, soon. Very, very, very soon. This is one of the messages as I even as I'm speaking it, I'm feeling kind of like, not hesitant, but feeling bad to, to, to say this because, um, you know, I see a lot of people falling from this. Boom, 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 one by one. A lot of prophetic speakers. Um, Yaba is not turning his back, but he's like, he's going in a different direction with this. And not a lot of people are going to be able to um, be given messages anymore. Um, sad to say. Um, and people are going to just be doing um, um, Bible scriptures, like quoting Bible scriptures and trying to keep people up in faith and stuff like that. But the heavens are going to be close soon. It's going to be a closed heaven. Um, the Abba is doing it by His will because there have been so much people not focusing on the time that we're in. This is a very, very serious time. It's not a joke. Uh, uh, it's about really saving souls. It's not about looking pretty, looking good. It's not about, um, you know, if I about give you a business, that, that's different. But it's not about you exploiting the opportunity to have something successful, a business or anything like that. It's about kingdom business saving souls. And if you're not doing that, or if it's not in alignment with that, or if it was and it's not, then I'm about stepping back from a lot of people. Um, even myself, I have to make sure that I have to, you know, do a self-check to make sure that the things that I have on my side it is according in the world of the Abba, and it is for the, the beneficial or saving souls. And any proceeds or money I get will be used for that purpose, you know what I'm saying, for the kingdom. Because ultimately everything does um, every blessing that comes is, is because of the kingdom work that you're doing. And if Abba's taking care of you financially or just providing ways for you, it's because of the kingdom work you're doing or all the kingdom work you will be doing. So everything always falls under the line of the will of the Abba. So the Abba wanted me to say that the, the, the heaven's going to be closed very soon. Very, very, very soon. And there's going to be a lot of people disconnected um, from the Abba. It's going to feel like a big disconnection. And um, Abba doesn't want you to get scared. Abba doesn't want you to be worried, feeling hopeless and giving up. Um, he just wants you to continuously to stand on the word, um, which was um, in the Bible and the words that 
you were given by the Holy Spirit throughout this time to um, um, to help yourself. Okay. All right. So um, he wants you to um, understand that um, it's not something that's gonna um, um, ultimately uh, cause you to be this this distraught, but. The heavens are all closing, so a lot of um, doors are going to be closed. Um, people need to get this their, their situation with Abba tight and right. Whatever needs to be said, whatever needs to be done that Abba wants you to do while he closes up the heavens to make sure that you stay on that assignment and keep on that assignment. Um, there's, there's going to be a, a, a few, a very few prophesizing, and you're going to know who's who. Um, and this is, Abba is getting rid of all the fake, um, um, the false prophets, put it like that. He's getting rid of all of them. Like, <laughs> a lot of them is going to just, like, you, you're going to know. You're going to know. I, I can't say too much, but there's a lot of, um, actually, um, the enemy is using people as Christians um, to prophesize, and they're not. They don't have nothing to do with Christ, and they sometimes it's hard for them to say the word Jesus, Yeshua, I'm a ship. And um, they um, they have a lot of witchcraft. Uh, I've seen a few people on on, on the on, on the on, on the YouTube, and and I've seen witchcraft all around them. Which I see, about showed me clearly. I was like, I'm looking. I'm like, I know people can see this. I know. People can see this. This is not from the Abba. Even the energy in the field of watching it. Um, I, I try to, you know, Abba, he led me to it. And I, and I put it on. I said, this is not right. Something I, I was listening. And I was like, ooh. Then I seen the, the witchcraft. I seen the um, spells and the cantation that's around this channel and the, and the person. And I said, Abba's allowing this to happen because he wants us to discern and use what he has given us. And I understood that. I said, Abba, how can you allow that? So there's, there's a lot of things that the enemy is using, um, false prophetic speakers that are into witchcraft. And that's from him, the enemy. And um, Abba's allowing this to happen, go down. I'm like, y'all know, this is, Abba's allowing this to go down because he wants us to be very strict in our ways and discipline and in the spirit, in the Holy Spirit, the fruit of the spirit. So those who, we are given charge over, we can be able to teach them, prepare them, and get them out to start doing the same things that you're supposed to be doing, that they, they're supposed to do, prophesizing or um, doing evangelic work or, or, um, or ministry work or bringing other people to the kingdom, making disciples out of them. Like, this is the whole thing. This is the whole key. I've been showing me this all week. Like, he was like, even me, he's like, you need to um, evangelize and disciple people and send them out. You know, the work doesn't stop with you. You got to, um, and that's why I'm always giving out information, whatever it is, that the Abba wants me to speak to people and for people to um, to help themselves. So they could, you could get on your job, whether you have a YouTube channel, whether you're out there on the streets, whether you're going to be out there in the streets helping people, or whatever you're going to be doing, um, the Holy Spirit is guiding you. Um, obviously, you know that. And if you're in this channel and, and you know that you're not just sitting around looking pretty or looking looking, um, look, um, um, you know, looking drippy, <laughs> you know what I mean, for, for my boys. But you, you got to get out there and start doing what you're doing. And, um, and remember, the whole focus is saving souls for the kingdom. It's not, this is not an entertainment channel, although it may be used for entertainment, like with my skits and stuff, but it, it, this is all Abba's work. I'm not, I'm not doing nothing I, I want to do, right? and I don't care about anything I want to do, because at the end of the day, when Abba um, push you through the fire, you start to see that nothing that you desire matters. It really does it. It's like, hold on, this is not about me. This is about the kingdom. So you begin to have that self-motivated um, 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 prospect of what was for the kingdom and was for you. And, 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 and you put your stuff aside and you, you do what Abba needs, wants you to do. So Abba wants me to tell you all that the, the heaven is going to be closed soon. And when I say it's going to be closed, it's going to be closed. A lot of people are going to be feeling it. A lot, a lot of, uh, of people, prophetic, the true prophetic speech, y'all going to feel it. Y'all trying to, matter of fact, this is what's going on. Y'all rushing right now. 
through the Holy Spirit is rushing y'all to get things in, in place in order because of this. And 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 you know, it's like you're moving real fast. Uh, the Holy Spirit is saying that He's taking you from situation to situation to to um, to make your, yourself stable. So when the heavens close up, you 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 sustain you sustain your your your, your, um, your foundation is strong. And this is where uh, when the heavens closes up, um, a lot of the things in the world that we heard about is going to start to come into play. The, the, all the craziness. Again, a lot of chaos, confusion. Don't give up on the prayers. There's not a time for you to, 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 to give up in the prayers. We endure to the end. Into the end. That's what the good book says. Endure to the end. And he's there. And he will never forsake us, never leave us. So um, um, this is what the Abba wanted me to say to y'all. Um, um, as far as that favorite, famous YouTuber, um, you need to get yourself back in, on, on the horse, man, because um, you're going to be needed as well when the heavens close up, because a lot of your people in your ministry is going to start falling short if you don't um, get yourself right now. Um, and also those who have ministry, pastors, whoever you are, if you need to get yourself right um, and ask the Abba, what am I saying, if, if it's true or not? Because when that heavens close up, um, if you know how it feels, when the heaven closes up, it, it's just like, everything's just like, oh, what's going on? Like, nothing's moving. Every, everything, you know? So, no blessings, no, no no things. So, you need to um, get yourself in order. Get, get everything in order that the Holy Spirit is telling you um, to do. And you, you, you will, because the Holy Spirit um, is guiding um, key players and people who are supposed to be um, you know, holding people down. Um, I, I, I'm about saying, ask him to place you under his umbrella in his world. Because when the heavens close, if you're caught in the, in the enemy's world, it's not going to be good. Pray for your family, children, loved ones to get in the Abba's world. There are two spiritually. The Abba show me there are there's the satanic world. And there's the Abba's world. And they're uh, competing against each other, not only competing against each other, but um, where we see all the killing, the craziness, that's the satanic world that's overshadowing Abba's world. It's like, give or take, one day, it's like Abba's world, everything's good, everything's peaceful, it's like no problems, and then the enemy, um, the satanic world comes in, and then like for two or three days, it's just satanic, all craziness, and then um, uh, uh, Three more days for Abbas. Like, this is a struggle with Abbas showing me spiritually what goes on. And these two um, worlds um, is literally a world in itself. Uh, uh, the way Abbas showed me, it's, it's, it's like a world. It is a world. Um, but the natural world of Abba, we all know. Um, and you have to pray for yourself and your family and your children to be in Abba's world. Because when he shuts that heaven up, and you don't want to be caught in the enemy's world. You don't want to be caught in the enemy's world. So pray for your family, children, loved ones, um, your business, um, everything. And you'll know, because when you're in Abba's world, and everything is in Abba's world, you're going to start seeing the difference. Abba, like, if it's the enemy, the satanic world, you, you, things won't, you won't be able to go outside. Your children, loved ones, they ain't going to want to go outside. They're, they're going to want to stay inside. And you won't be, if you have a business, you won't, so what happen when you won't open your business today? Because it's not the Abba's world. It's the enemy's world. I can't explain it more. And I, I tried to, um, and I would probably do a video about probably saying, probably going to have to do something on this to, to, to kind of go into a little bit more um, spiritually so it makes sense to people. Um, and back it up with scripture because that's the first thing people be like, brother, you got to back this up with scripture. So, <laughs> so I got to get on point with scriptures. And when I give out scriptures, it's not for me. It's from the Holy Spirit. Okay, guys? Because, um, like, I know scripture, but I don't know scripture like that. <clears throat> I'm not like, um, I'm not verse like that. When the Holy Spirit comes, like, shoom, and the saw is stuck it out. Like, yeah, give him the scripture. Give her the scripture right there. So every scripture that I give you guys is not for me. It's not what I think or what I feel. It's straight from the Holy Spirit. And, Every scripture that I give pertains to a certain situation in your life. Meditate on the scriptures that I give you, that the, well, the Holy Spirit tells me to give to you, because it, it's going to help you. It's going to help those around you, or family, or whatever the situation. It's going to help. 
You just read the scriptures, meditate, ask about what does the scripture mean to me. Um, meditate, on it, you will see all the scriptures that are given out um, to people. Sometimes I'll be amazed. I'll be like, oh, snap, I didn't understand the scripture before, but I see it now. <laughs> it seems different. So the Holy Spirit is the great teacher, okay? So when you get scripture from me, you get it straight from the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> not for me. Sometimes I don't want to interpret it or try to understand it because sometimes the Abba says it's not for me and it's for that person. When that person receives the scripture, the person will know exactly what that scripture means. Okay, so um, Abba saying to read the scriptures when the, when, when the heavens get closed, stay stuck to your scriptures. Stay to your words, to the scriptures, stay struck to the scriptures, because that's all you're going to have. That's all that's going to sustain you. And be um, Abba's, even though the heavens being shut up, Abba's training us too, um, how to stand on his word. And this is why most of it, um, why he's closing up the heavens. Um, meaning like if you, I'm going to be gangster with it. If you real like that, we're going to see about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, that's what uh, how Abba showed me. Like, he's not saying that to me, but it's like, well, if you really about that, that word, you about Jesus, we're going to see if you're about Jesus. <laughs> you know? So, um, I don't have to be, I don't want to be funny with it, but I'm being serious. It's not one of those skits, but um, that's the way Abba shows me. Like, you know, the word, your word is going to sustain you. This is, what he's showing me is practice. It's practice. Um, this is practice for you to train the spirit. The heaven's going to be shut up for a while, so the word is going to be everything. Um, for you, you know, people that you minister to, the people you're helping, whatever you're doing. Um, and you're going to see within these words the power of God, even though the heaven's going to be closed down, if that makes sense. Okay? So I, I will do a teaching on what Abba wants me because he's telling me. Um, to go in in detail spiritually what goes on in the, in, in the satanic realm and the um, Abba's realm where some days are just crazy and then some days are just, wow, it feels so good, for peace, calm. And then, or it could be an hour of just peace of calm and then the whole day the, the enemy world, the energy from the enemy's world takes over. So I'm, I'm going to explain it as Abba's will as he wants me to explain it so you can be able to understand this stuff spiritually. And pertaining to scripture, yes, I'm, I'm digging it myself. I'm about saying, is, uh, I'm going to show you scripture about it. I'm like, in my head, like, while he's telling me this, I'm like, hmm, Abba, I ain't never read that in scripture. I hope you got me. <laughs> but I know Abba got me. He's going to back it up with scripture because he's telling me, hey, I'm, I got you. Don't worry about it. So when our time comes, I will um, I'm back it up with scripture, uh, especially at the time we're in. Um, to Abba's grace in, as well, okay? So uh, my name is uh, my brother E. As you all know, if you don't know, now you know. Um, I'd like to um, thank you for coming back to another um, Daily Post of God's ministry. I want to send you nothing but love. Love. Yeshua's love, okay? Um, this the, Abba says, do not take this as a fear uh, message because Abba, we don't, we don't do the fear thing. We're not, you, 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 your kingdom, um, men and women, we don't deal with that fear. Abba is trying to show us how to um, exert our power that he has given us through the word. And this time when the heavens are going to be shut up, it's going to show you who you are, the Abba. And it's going to allow you to do kingdom things uh, with your gifts that the Abba has gave you and your power. This is like a disciplinary, kind of like a disciplinary kind of um, um, thing that's going on when he shuts the heaven up. And you're going to be able to exert your power that the Abba has given you through the word of God and his Bible and his good work, okay? So, again, my name is my brother E. I'd like to thank you for coming to another Daily Post of God's Ministry. May you have peace and shalom and blessings and fill with the Holy Spirit today. Peace and shalom.